The High Court has ruled that the controversial Raraka land is public land and that the 1.5 billion shillings compensation to businessman Francis Mburu by the Education Ministry is illegal. A three-judge bench faulting the National Lands Commission for misleading the Education Ministry to make the payment in a process that circumvented the procedures of compulsory acquisition of land. Our reporter Sam Ogina with the details. The National Lands Commission occasioned government's loss of 1.5 billion shillings in the acquisition of the 13-acre Roraka piece of land. A three-judge bench ruling has indicted NLC for misleading the Education Ministry in paying businessman Francis Buru to acquire land where driving primary and Roraka high schools sit. Despite the six interested party insisting on due diligence being followed, the applicant did not do this. Instead, the applicant misled the Ministry of Education into undertaking a compulsory accusation exercise that was totally unnecessary and led to loss of public funds. The court determining that the land was public and NLC irregularly caused government to pay billions of shillings to acquire its own land. The judges ruled that the commission flouted the law in acquisition of the land by predetermining the land value even before valuation had been carried out. The applicant asked the six interested party to set aside 3,269,046 before the valuation of the land to be acquired was done. The valuation was carried out on the 14th of June 2017, which coincidentally arrived at the exact figure. The anatomy of the controversial Roraka land set off in the early 1980s when businessman Francis Mburu surrendered on free cost part of his 96-acre piece of land in Ruaraka as condition for subdividing it to develop the land. 30 years later, Buru claimed ownership of the 13-acre piece of land he apparently had surrendered. At NLC, the former commission played a central role in the land scam. Former chairman Mohamed Sozuri allegedly helping advance Francis Buru's claim. Sozuri, in a series of letters, roping in the education cabinet secretary then Fred Matiangi and his principal secretary, Belia Kipsang, into formalizing the illegality. It has been a long, winding, protracted journey on where the money was lost in the acquisition of the Roraka land. The verdict, 1.5 billion shillings. And the then education cabinet secretary, Fred Matiangi, allegedly oversaw an illegality where government acquired land belonging to itself. We therefore find that the compulsory acquisition of the land on which the two schools sit did not meet the threshold of public purpose and should not have been undertaken in the first place. One, not, one cannot purport to compulsory acquire what is already public land. The Roraka lands come raising eyebrows over the objectivity in Parliament's investigative role as the two houses of Parliament sharply differed. While the Senate Public Investment Committee linked Machiangi and his then PS Belia Kipsang recommending that they be further investigated for loss of public funds and if found culpable be prosecuted, the National Assembly's Lands Committee, on the other hand, wanted Sozuri and other NLC commissioners be held accountable. Buru still wants to contest the three-judge bench unanimous decision and has vowed to appeal against the ruling. Thank you. Thank you. Sam Genesirzen TV, Nairobi.